So thank you, Neshama Karlbach, Alicia Spigals, Noah Solomon, and Alex Axel Balahubek for beginning this evening with such moving music. We started off with Essa Enai from Tehillim, a verse which so many of our brothers and sisters sang in Eastern Europe for centuries. And then Eli Eli, composed by the Jewish heroine and Holocaust martyr Chana Senesh. I might add that both Neshama Karlbach and Noah Solomon participated with us on the 1997 March of the Living. So a big hand to our musicians. It is now my great honor to invite Ambassador Ronald Lauder, our gracious host, to formally welcome you here all this evening. Thank you all. I've never heard the blue and white sung more beautiful. Um, welcome to my home. Uh, this was my parents' home. But prior to that, in the 1920s, there were six buildings built, three on this side and three on the other side, for what was known then as our crowd. Uh, this was the home of, of Herbert Lehman uh, from Lehman Brothers. Next door was the Warburgs. They originally had a department store in Berlin. There was a Buttenweiser, and there was one after the other of all German Jews. And there was one common garden. And um, I'm still amazed how my parents got it, but um, coming from Austria. But uh, frankly, it's a place that means a lot to me. And I know if my parents were here, they would applaud everyone coming for the March to Living because they, like I, believe that memory is the most important thing and we should never forget. Welcome, and I turn it over now. I must tell you, I had no choice about having this reception because there's a gentleman to my right here who gave me no choice, but I'm glad we're doing it. Mrs. Phyllis Heidemann, Chair International March of the Living Advisory Board, and her husband, Richard, Dr. Shmuel Rosenman, Chairman International March of the Living, Professor David Machles, Vice Chairman of the Board, and his wife, Linda, our dear, dear friend, who is also my personal friend and the friend of the March of the Living, Mr. Malcolm Online, who is the Executive Vice Chairman of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations since June 1986, and last but not least, esteemed Ambassador Ronald Lauder, to whom this evening is a tribute. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, Shalom and Erev Tov. How good it is to be among brothers, especially in such an evening. Hinei matov umanaim, shevet achim gam yachad. Thank you for attending the important event and for your generous support. The most virulent hatred ever to shake the life and soul of the human race and threaten the Jewish nation was the Holocaust. Taking advantage of the suffering of millions haunt us and will never let up. Six million Jews, men, women, and children were led to the gas chambers, incinerators, and firing squads where over a million children suffocated in their mother's arms or were tossed alive into the furnaces deep in the heart. Every Holocaust survivor and each of us as Jews across the globe bears the memory of the people who were excriminated in mute silence. The March of the Living, which will take place for the 25th year this time on April 8th, shatters this silence on the Shoah day each year. We break the utter silence, march and cry out silently but bravely, and the Israeli flag leads the way and provides a sharp response to the ghost of Hitler and his Nazi aid, even in, this, in our generation, that Israeli nation lives on. Am Israel Chai. Anyone participating in the March of the Living and breathing the death camps can understand 
how the march of the living gives an expression to always remember and never forget and fulfills the writings. Remember what Amalek of our generation did unto thee. The most positive force which arose from the cinders of the Holocaust was the new Jew, the Jew who will never again be resigned to do nothing, the Jew who will fight to stay alive, which is a blow to the blows of his oppressor. The most obvious example was the Warsha Ghetto uprising. This year we are marking the 70th year of this important event which had more symbolic value than practical significance. It should be remembered that for almost 2,000 years, Jewish history was more based mainly on the torment of Jews, of their suffering, overcoming, and opposition, and not for what they themselves created, decided, or did. This was the moment that everything changed a moment in which, in the face of the Holocaust and afterwards, the national memory will continue to shine forever, a moment of truth which will be ultimately move Israel forwards to the future generation. I now call upon all of you to lend a hand, assist this mighty project and participate personally in an experience not to be missed in Poland on April 8th this year. Come and join us personally in the march. Joining us is not only remembering the Holocaust, but also an expression of the strength of the state of Israel, the Israeli nation. Ambassador Ronald Lauder, my very, very honorable and dear friend provides great expression, not far for allowing us being here in this wonderful house and the memories that is, are coming from uh, his parents and of course, uh, Roland himself and his wife, but for what we call Holocaust and revival on the foundation of harsh and calamity and destruction. He has been building hope for Jewish life and in fact, Jewish life for the younger generation. I wish you, Ronald, good health and continued productivity and action in all the business and philanthropic endeavors which you have been involved in for many years, amen. May this be goodwill. Good evening, Erev Tov, thank you.